Hello, and welcome to the Alaska Sea Life Center. Again, my name is Alex, and we're here with another Teleaquarium presentation for you. Uh, we're actually kind of in a weird area right now. It's a little strange in here. Uh, and this is a glimpse most people do not get of the Sea Life Center. We're back in the uh, mammal curatorial area, uh, actually upstairs back behind where the sea lions are. Uh, if you ever come to the Sea Life Center, you see where the sea lions are, you see where our sealed tank is. Uh, you can come in here, and, or you can't come in here, but you can imagine when, uh, when our husbandry staff are working the animals behind the scenes, they're actually back here. But we're here today for a little bit of a special program. We're actually going to be visiting uh, one of our stellar sea lions, Mara. And uh, we have a little bit of a special announcement for it. Mara is uh, going to be getting a checkup today. Something about sea lions, uh, when they breed, we don't actually know if they're pregnant until about December. And it turns out, uh, back in December, we were able to confirm that Mara is, in fact, pregnant with a stellar sea lion pup. So that's really exciting news. We're really excited about it. But what we're going to be doing today, uh, I have Jane here. She's with our vet staff, and she is actually going to be doing an x-ray on Mara. And that x-ray can tell us uh, how calcified the bones are on that pup, and we'll be able to see kind of how far along it is actually age the pregnancy. So I'm going to turn the camera around. You're actually going to get to watch this whole procedure. We'll be answering any questions that you might type in the chat. It might just take us a little while to get to them, but feel free to type any questions you have. And we're going to get Jane mic'd up, so you'll be hearing what she's saying as we're doing this very cool procedure. So just sit tight with us for just a second. All right, so, okay. So what we're gonna do is, um, what's amazing is that Mara has a wonderful behaviors and what she's going to do is, I'm um, here if you wanna take a step back, is she's gonna go into this chute. We have an x-ray plate on the bottom of the chute and she's gonna gently come in, lay down with amazing Shelby's care. Uh, this is Shelby, she's one of our mammologists and his uh, Mara's primary for this particular behavior today. Um, in the back we have Evelyn. She's going to be wor walk working our, our um, gates and also helping me with some of the x-ray stuff. And then we have Jess and this is her first day here as a veterinary assistant. Way to go. Good, 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 way to start your day. Um, so Mara's going to come in. She's going to settle down. We're going to move some stuff around to take the x-ray and we'll see what we see. All set, just Shelby. So I think what, so to watch where you're standing, but I'm going to go back here. Almost. Let me get this. Okay, I'm ready. So you're going to tell me when that screen is green on top and says ready. So what happened is um, Mara moved our plate a little bit too much. We would be getting a good x-ray of her heart, but not of her stomach. So we're going to readjust the plate again. Okay, let's try this on here. That might help keep it from, it's because it's a new bag. I bet that's part of it being so slippery. We've been practicing um, with a demo. Oh, this is, <laughs> there we go. That isn't so slippery as this new bag. Okay, let's move it back. it back. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see if this makes a difference. Uh, little like two inches my way. Okay. There we go. There, yeah. Are you comfortable with that? Like that? Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Got to slow her down coming in. <laughs> She's so excited. 
So this is part of it. Um, a lot of trial and error, working what's best for Mara. All right, let's go. All right, so with any animal, um, this is totally behavioral, this is totally voluntary. And it is a little early in the morning for Mara, uh, so uh, she's just decided that she wants to take a big break. We're gonna give her what we call a timeout and uh, give her a couple minutes and we're gonna try again. And this is very common, this happens. Again, it's because we're doing this completely voluntary. This is totally her decision if she wants to participate or not. Sure, sure. So um, we have been monitoring Mara with ultrasound uh, since December, and we've been seeing heart rate, we've been seeing some bone structure, but with ultrasound, we only see about this much, if we're lucky. That's one of the reasons we're taking an x-ray today, is because the baby's bones hopefully are now calcified enough that we can see bones and get an idea of how old the baby's gonna be, and thus give us an idea when it, when it might be born. But also we're gonna get a picture, essentially the size of the x-ray plate versus our teeny little bit of ultrasound, which we use to monitor heart and stuff, but we can't get an idea of how big the baby is. Okay, so what we're looking at now is our ultrasound. And so if you look towards the top, you see some white lines. There we go. We have some spine and some rib cage right there. Kind of like, looks like a little alien inside of her, but this totally shows us that we have a baby. And I think you'll be able to see some, there you go. You see some thumping in that rib cage? That's the heart. So back in December, we started checking her like every week or so. Now that we know um, that she's getting closer to giving birth, we've been monitoring her and doing ultrasounds a couple times a week. And again, she does this all voluntarily. She goes into this chute, she lays down, and she lets the veterinarian put the ultrasound um, probe against her belly so we can see if we have a heartbeat. with this timeout, it's totally up to Shelby and Mara as to when we're going to try. Um, and sometimes with the, with when we're doing medical behaviors,
by the day right now, we are really, really closely monitoring her motivation, her appetite, her behavior. So we're really looking out for small changes. I mean, it's really hard to predict when Mara is going to birth. It could be in the next couple weeks. It could be mid-May. So we're just really, really observing every small change that we can see. She is super hormonal right now, as most females are when they're pregnant. So I just have to really pay attention to that. I don't want to push Mara to do anything. I want her to participate on her own. So we're going to take this small break. I'm going to give it another go here in just a minute. I'm hopeful for this, but once again, it is voluntary. She gets to choose to participate or not, and that's totally fine. We'll come back another, another day later, another mm -hmm. time, time this afternoon, and just practice, practice, practice. But we, this is very normal. This is what we expect the closer she gets to full term. So eventually, she may not want to participate at all because she's so uncomfortable and she's so large and in charge. So we're really, really keeping an eye on her. But this is pretty typical. But we'll see what happens here. Let's give Thank it a you. go. Yep. OK. Maybe she heard me. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so what we need, can you wait just one second? So our x-ray machine is all digital, and what happened is uh, it went to sleep, so I'm just gonna reactivate it. All right, we're good. Thank you for noticing that. it back into place in the right place so I'm willing to try that okay just let me know when you're ready for me to move the head yeah okay Are we getting any green now? Okay. Yeah. Ready for me to move that? Just leave the head where it is. When we did this last week as a practice run, she was rock solid. Um, but this is what happens, you know, sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't. And that's perfectly normal. We're perfectly cool working with that. Um, so I think we're going to re readjust the x-ray again. And Shelby, what do you think? Do we want to try again or yeah. do we want to um, give it a break and maybe try later on today? Um, I'd like to maybe try one more time just for positivity. Something that a lot of you guys aren't seeing right now is we have a lot of extra equipment and people up here with the education team for Facebook Live. And all of these little things can cause a big response from an animal. If I didn't desensitize her properly to my outfit, to the extension cords, this can already be signals to her that something's going on and that's already scary. So right now she's just trying to work through it and I'm trying to work through it with her. Like Jane said, this behavior is very positive, but all these extra parameters could really be setting her off. So we just kind of have to work her slowly through that. I'd like to mm -hmm. try her one more time and try okay. to end kind of positive. Yes. Um, just reading her behavior. If 
I see her start to get a little edgy or tense or uncomfortable, I'm going to call it. Uh, but I do want to see if I can get a little bit more positive success. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, we've done this many times. Um, and even when we don't have a 100% successful session, we still want to want it to end on a positive note. Yeah, we want it, We want this to be fun for her. We don't want to um, get, make her adverse to what we're doing. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Even if it doesn't work out, this has still been positive because she's gone into the shoot. She's uh, recognized all the extra things happening, yeah. and so this is still yeah. a training session. Mara is still learning by everything that we're oh, you doing got it. Right now. Okay. Every fish I give her, she's learning through. Um, mm -hmm. So this is still actually just a really great desensitization training session for her, regardless yeah. of successful extra. Yeah. And again, she's pregnant, so you know maybe she just doesn't feel good. She's <laughs> she, just like she might be having an off day. <laughs> she, she's just giving us the flipper because she just don't want to do it. Period. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we'll go back this way. The plate looks good. Okay. Want to try this position one more time? Yeah, do you want to give her a longer break or just? Uh, no, I think I'm just going to give her a go. Okay. Let's see what we get. Um, if she's not into it, we're going to call it after this one. Okay. Try Are we good with where the head is or do you want me to move it? Um, I think I'm okay with it there. Let's try it because I think this motion was what was distracting mm -hmm. her a little. Yeah. Alrighty, go ahead and open the gate. She looks ready, but she might be cool with me. <laughs> That green. Okay. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can work up with the exercise. Yeah. So you can see there, we were just encouraging her to be calm in the shoot. Um, you can see that she was still kind of looking around and stuff like that. She was looking really good, and it's very tempting to say, oh, let's go to the next step. But really, the key is to make this a good experience for her and to not push her too much, especially if she's feeling a little nervous about the situation. Yeah, I mean, that's a win for me, ending positive, her coming into the shoot, nice and calm at the end there. We didn't want to push it too far. But in the, mm -hmm. in the world of training, always ending on that positive, successful note is the best thing I can do so that she will be willing to continue this behavior at a later time. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, that's a win. I didn't know what to expect this morning. You never know what you're going to get with these guys. Um, but for me, I call it Yeah, call no, it, it was good. Training. I mean, it's huge that she went into the sheet yeah. in that, with all this other extra stuff, so that's a lot. Um, so, um, Shelby and I are going to discuss whether we want to try later on today. Mara is going to tell us, too, with her behavior for the rest of the day. Um, but I definitely will let you know once we get some x-rays, we will share them with you on Facebook.
All right. Well, so as we saw, Mara is feeling uh, not quite up to it today, but that's all right. It's always uh, experience for the animal, whether we're actually doing it or not. In fact, that's kind of how they acclimate these animals to these procedures is they'll just have them in and pretend that it's happening. Uh, and, you know, but today we've got a lot that's different. We've got this camera. We've got me. Uh, we're trying to be quiet over this way. But if you have any more questions about our stellar sea lions, about these procedures, or just about the Alaska Sea Life Center, go ahead and toss them in the chat there. We'll be answering questions for a little bit while. Uh, and I just wanted to thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be having more Telequarium experiences, so keep an eye open on Facebook. But also, if you want more streams, we are doing two streams a day, plus an all-day tank stream live from the Alaska Sea Life Center over on our YouTube channel. Uh, so go ahead and find that for us. Uh, pull those streams on up and just relax with us from the comfort of your home while we bring the aquarium to you. So from the Alaska Sea Life Center, thank you so much. <laughs>